Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Domvec Podcast. On this podcast, I have the pleasure to have on Troy Keegan, or Troy K Productions, on in the podcast stu- uh, suite at Sacred Heart University. Troy is a seasoned photographer, videographer, and content creator from Connecticut who is involved with a variety of sports. He works for a number of teams, schools, and organizations all year long. Troy, how are you today? I'm doing great. How you been? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. That's awesome. So, first question. Who or what inspired you to start doing what you're doing today? Well, uh, I would say that, you know, who really inspired me at the beginning uh, was a lot of lacrosse YouTubers. Since I used to play lacrosse back in college, I decided to become a YouTuber back in my old school. Um, Stelios Curtis, uh, Jesse James West. Um, and then it just kind of evolved from there. Uh, I would say that uh, QN Productions has definitely been a huge influence on me. Berg's, uh, Massachusetts, the one and only Bernie JP Vids, um, MS Films, you know, the, it's just ever since, you know, that core of YouTubers that I met back in my old school, it just kind of expanded. Um, and, you know, I'm forever grateful for all the content creators I've been able to learn and kind of, you know, adapt from, you know, it's, it's, it's been an amazing experience just to get to know every single one of them. And then the build off of that, who or what did you film for the first time, like when you picked up the camera? So my first camera actually was a Sony Alpha 6400, and, um, you know, I picked it up, and I'm like, so what now? What the hell do I do? (laughs) So um, uh, I emailed my my athletic director from high school, and uh, I was like, yo, uh, I know you got um, senior night. You know, coming down uh, for Bethel soccer, for boys soccer. Can you can I come down and film? He's like, oh, sure, go ahead. And uh, it was quite an eventful, uh, it was quite an eventful game. You know, my my first game ever, uh, Bethel won 10 nothing over New Milford oh my God, <laughs> in boys crazy. soccer. So I'm like, uh, what a game. <laughs> um, you know, it's at the beginning, it was all local. You know, I did soccer, and then I did field hockey, and then I did... Um, Darien football, I, I did Fairfield lacrosse, uh, scrimmage against Holy Cross. So, you know, just kind of um, uh, adapted, you know, I like kept going, going, going. And, you know, but I would say, you know, Bethel uh, soccer was definitely my uh, first video I ever did. So going off that again, mm-hmm. additionally, uh, what moments have stood out during your during your career so far? What has stood out? Uh, Just kind of looking back on, you know, all my old videos that I made and comparing them to the ones I make now. And it's like, wow, I've come really far. Um, But I would say that, you know, the moments I've stood out, I would say, you know, recently with hockey, you know, I was able to do some, I had some new LUTs that I that I got. And um, I was able to film uh, the hockey championship. I was able to... um, film some lacrosse videos uh for Yale uh, as well as Boston University when they did all those neutral site games um and then if we're you know take a few steps back from when I was in um when I was at the beginning of 2022 I believe yes um I know 2023 yeah 2023 um I filmed them a BU hockey game against Merrimack um thanks to Bernie by the way for allowing me to come and film um but yeah so I would say that you know just being able to film all these college games and getting closer and closer and closer to the NHL has definitely been you know a big roller coaster ride and you know hopefully it'll continue would you say hockey is your uh, favorite sport to film overall oh yeah I've, I've been a hockey fan you know all my life you know I was a Capitals fan you know there's been a lot of years of misery um uh, especially getting booted out in the second round <laughs> uh, but you know ever since I picked up a camera I wanted to you know do hockey and it's a very very difficult sport to film it's it's very difficult if people do not understand how difficult it is to film hockey and um you know I was luckily enough been able to you know get good at filming you know hockey you know I I got some clients that want to come back and say hey Troy can you film me doing film this or can you film this game or something like that you know you know I'm forever grateful and you know there's just you know a lot of support in that community so you know I'm very grateful to be able to get all these opportunities from other towns and other schools and then uh what team schools and organizations are you a part of or work for 
So I, uh, I go to Western Connecticut State University. Uh, I am part of the media department there, Westcom Media Services. Um, I have worked for Lax.com as well. Um, circling back on the media services thing, like I travel with the all the lacrosse team, with the basketball team, soccer team. You know, I've I've you know worked with all of them, made videos for them. Um, just recently, I I went to Stony Brook University to film Westcon versus Arcadia. Um, that was a neutral site game, and I was able to film and edit that all by myself. Um, I've did Westcon hockey. You know, we we have a club team that plays at uh, Denver Ice Arena where the hat tricks play. Um, I was able to film for soccer. Um, yeah, and, and other club events that go on on campus. So, you know, it's been I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot, especially working with Black Magic cameras, which are like next generation cameras, especially the ones that are six K. So, um, but yeah, so I worked with Lax dot com as well. Um, I did BU versus St. Joseph as well as um, the Prep Nationals as well as uh, Yale versus Villanova. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get into uh, Notre Dame versus Cornell. You know, we're trying to still hopefully make that work, but, you know, because it's a neutral site game at LIU. So, you know, hopefully we'll get that through. Uh, I've worked with top lax recruits. I've worked with um, many other club lacrosse teams. Um, but yes, yeah, so, you know, the list keeps going and, you know, but right now I have a full-time job working with, uh, or student worker job with, uh, Westcott Media Services right now. And, you know, hopefully, you know, in the future I get to work with many other companies. As a content creator, how do you, uh, manage your workload overall? So, yeah, that's actually a really good question. Um, you know, I've been dying to tell people that, but, um, being content creator, it's, you know, how you manage your time is, is how you deal with it and how you set it up. Um, there have been times when, you know, like it's been very difficult, um, especially with, you know, you know, working as a freelancer, um, going to school full time, um, having a, a job, a student worker job. And, you know, it's it's a it can get pretty stressful, like it can get pretty stressful for, you know, deadlines you have to meet for your job and deadlines you have to meet for freelance work. Um, I would say that, uh, it's, it's how you, how you make it really, it's how you make it. And, you know, it's been a little bit difficult. It's been a bumpy ride, you know, at some points, but, you know, I'm forever grateful to, you know, be in this spot and all the sacrifices that I've had to make, uh, to get myself there. And, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful to have met, you know, some very nice people along the way, you know. Uh, with Quincy and, and Paul and, you know, many other people and Toby as well, who's down at Elon. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I've met some very great people along the way that have been there for me in my lowest points, but, you know, uh, especially Bernie as well. But, you know, I'm very grateful for those people who have definitely been there for me in, you know, my darkest times, if you want to say that. And then uh, do you have any interesting or funny stories from your career? So <laughs> uh yeah i've had some you know i've had some funny uh incidents uh there's there are some you know funny goals that i've had um there have been times when you know i've you know almost gotten hit in football um well so there's been some times where i did some you know funny mic ups and stuff like that um you know i i mic'd up a uh, canterbury goalie uh <laughs> You know, he was he was pretty funny on the mic. He actually knew what he was doing. So, you know, it was pretty funny to edit something like that. And, you know, I'm, you know, <laughs> um, there's there's many more I can think of. But, you know, I, I can't think of the top of my head. But, you know, there's definitely a lot out there. And then uh, what games, sports and experiences would you like to capture um, that you have not done yet? Uh, uh, the bean pot. I would say the bean pot. Um uh, CT Ice Cup, and never, I haven't been able to do that, and I really want to. Um, well, it's national championship, or at least the regionals. Um, I actually, in my years of being a content creator, I have never filmed the Connecticut State Championship. Never. For and what sport? For lacrosse. Never, never filmed one. Um, I've never. The closest I've ever done to that is the prep nationals, but. Since I'm in the military and that I serve part time, you know, we have to leave for two weeks, and it the first day we leave, that's when the state championship is. 
Like every year. Yeah, every year. I'm like, ugh, every single time. <laughs> I'm like, let me film at least one game. So, um, yeah, so when I – I never filmed the Connecticut State Championship. Um, I never filmed any uh, NEPSAC finals for hockey. I would definitely want to do that. Um, and there's plenty more. The Winter Classic is definitely something I would love to do. Uh, I, I have done an outdoor game before with Daria and Greenwich at the Greenwich Skating Club. Uh, but I definitely really want to uh, film like a professional outdoor game. I would say that's the number one goal. And then uh, overall, what is one thing that was unexpected when you decide to get into this field that you didn't know beforehand? That how demanding it is. Like, it, like what we do is, an, is a very demanding industry. Like, you know, when you're, you know, when you've, finished shooting and you know you were starting to edit like you got deadlines and like luckily enough you know the job I have now we have very you know I wouldn't say relaxed deadlines but like you have like a, a certain amount of time to get it done but with like let's say professional work you got like two hours you got four hours to get this done I'm like wow and it's like like you have to you know continue to push yourself you have to continue to you know, get better, uh, when it comes to color grading, when it comes to color correcting. Um, but yeah, so it's definitely something I didn't, you know, expect. Um, what else? Uh, also just, you know, how much, you know, people, you know, love people with cameras, <laughs> content creators. So like, you know, I'll be filming a game and, you know, I'll have like, I'll be packing all my stuff and there's like a parent will come over saying, Hey, I'll pay you this much money if you film my kid. Oh, hey, I'll, I'll let you film, I'll, I'll fil film my kid and I'll pay you this much money. I'm like, wow. <laughs> so it's like, you know, it's also a really nice way to make money. And, you know, I, I like doing it. Um, and it's definitely something I've never expected before. Uh, I never expected people to be like in so much demand for content creators, for, you know, videographers, photographers, anything like that. So, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, it's also pretty cool just to see the fact that like, when people follow you, they, they enjoy your work. I mean, they appreciate what you do and, you know, they, they really like you as a person and they really like you as a content creator. So I would say, you know, that was kind of surprising because I didn't think that was going to be something I would, you know, expect as when I first started this back in 2021. So, you know, yeah, I would say that, you know, the, the demand for it and the appreciation for it was definitely something I didn't expect. So for the future, uh, what are your goals and plans going forward? NHL. <laughs> I want to make it to the NHL. And, you know, I've, I've been working very hard. Um, you know, lacrosse, even with the PLL, the PLL, the NFL, just I just want to get to a top tier in a sport personally. And, you know, with football, you know, I've, I've definitely worked a lot in football. Um, I've worked, you know, in hockey a lot, you know, with the season winding down, with the season pretty much over. Um, you know, it's been, you know, a wild ride and I've been able to learn a lot for hockey and I really think that, you know, I can definitely make it at the, at that level. Uh, with lacrosse, me being a former lacrosse player, um, I would say that, uh, working in the PLL, um, <laughs> I actually have a funny story actually come to think of it. Um, for all you lacrosse fans out there, uh, if you went to the PLL Fairfield event, um, the Whip Snakes were playing there. And while I was leaving, when I was leaving Fairfield with uh, Rafferty, uh, there was a guy in a suit or like without a blazer and he had a bag and a lacrosse stick. And I, I went up to him. He's like, I was like, oh, did, did you play today? And I, I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, what's your name? Oh, Tucker Dordovic. I'm like, what? I'm like, Tucker Dordovic. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah. I was like, well, don't you have like a bus? Like, like I was like, Wow, I was like, uh, and he kept looking at his phone. He's like, damn it, bro. It's like, I, I got to get to the train. I'm like, I'll give you a ride. <laughs> like, I'll give you a ride. <laughs> so, yeah, I took a professional lacrosse player to Fairfield Metro. <laughs> I took him right to the train station. He paid me like 30 bucks. I was like, yo. Yeah, and like, <laughs> I do, I'm actually like. I'm I'm still surprised to this day like that that actually happened and you know some people don't believe me like like trust me people believe me Tucker Dordovic follows me on Instagram so um uh what else like I, I would say that you know that was that was 
probably the best moment ever as a as a like content I, I wouldn't say as a content creator because i wasn't done doing anything you know with camera wise and i was just there as a fan so uh, when i got that was probably one of the best moments ever just you know taking a lacrosse player to the train station and just you know i would say that that was a pretty uh awesome experience um but yeah <laughs> um yeah <laughs> but overall you yeah. just want to work like in the nhl either for do you want to yeah. work for the league or a team uh both uh, or either pretty much like um you know because they have an office down in new york city and uh you know I, i've had some few destinations that i want to work for um i want to work for the bruins i don't know why I just something about boston i really like uh nashville because i'm a huge fan of country music and on top of that nashville is also a really nice environment to work in and then Florida, because it's Florida. <laughs> you got the Florida Panthers there, who are first place in the league right now. You got Tampa Bay Lightning, who are eh, no, not uh, first wild card spot, or I believe, yeah, first wild card spot. And um, as, at the making of this podcast, um, so <laughs> um, so I would say that uh, you know in those areas, I definitely want to work in. But hey, if if Dallas Dallas Stars come calling, you know, yeah, I'm getting a one-way flight to texas so you know a- any team i don't care it could be what a panthers first place it could be the san jose sharks you know all the way down at the bottom you know i i don't care as long as i'm in the nhl as long as, long as i'm filming nhl stars that's that's all that matters and then lastly do you have any advice for people who are just starting out being a photographer videographer or content creator yeah so um first thing as a content creator you're always gonna have to you know manage your finances like if you wanted to go into freelance work um you know it's a very expensive industry um you know for my camera itself it was two thousand dollars so um start out slow you don't have to go get all the advanced you know advanced camera equipment and stuff like that you can start out slow with like a very cheaper camera um find you know lenses like just some basic lenses on you know amazon or something like that and start out slow like there's gonna be like you're not gonna be expected to get you know payments automatically like you're gonna have to you know do some free work you know for a certain amount of time like i did mine for like over a year i did i did a year of free work and then i that's when i started to get paid um and you know as you get paid and as you get better like the more you get better the more you should be charging for so like for example like i charged my first payment i charged about 50 bucks now it's more you know more expensive now because like i i know my worth as a content creator i know what i can do i know what i can present so you know what i will say is that you know manage your finances um as well as just get better we'll look and look at tutorials um uh, overall just you know get just on top of that get better and also on top of that meet people like meet people um get involved in the community start doing you know some kind of like in invitations like all that type of stuff on instagram you know start asking questions as well um and yeah so just you know also take influence as well take influence from other content creators and then try to make your own as well like content creators are kind of like tattoo artists you know what i mean like you want to you don't want to copy somebody you want to take influence you want to get better you also have a rate you have a rate in what you want to do and what you think you can do what you, actually no not what you think you can do what you can do so you know i think that you know that's personally my advice um and i think that you know if you go down that route, you're you're going to be, you know, a very successful content creator. Thank you for watching this edition of the Domvec podcast. Thank you Troy for joining me today. Yeah, thank you very much. Have a great day everyone and hit the like button and subscribe for more sports content.